This latest quote from Rogers just took the cake for me, the burn cake, because this one I found really offensive. This Sunday in Green Bay, Jordan loves Packers, played the arch rival Bears, win, and the Packers are, of course, in the playoffs. So first of all, Aaron, you're no longer a we. This is Jordan Love's team. You no longer play for the Packers, nor were you ever as loved in the locker room as Jordan already is loved in that locker room. And number two, you're certainly a shrewd enough operator to know if you pour enough gasoline on the or arch rival's fire, you'll increase the chances the Bears will get mad enough to pull off an upset at Lambeau. Is it possible that was your goal with this quote? Sure smells like it to me. Do you want to make it as hard as possible on Jordan? Because deep down, you really don't want him to succeed where you so miserably failed last year when you lost to Detroit at Lambeau on the final regular season Sunday night with a chance to make the playoffs. Yep, I believe that was your hidden agenda here which will make me root all the harder for Jordan and the Packers this Sunday. Keyshawn, it sounds like you disagree because you're making a lot of noise over there. Uh, I'm listening <laughs> How to do you, you in condemn this man. How do you interpret what Aaron Rodgers said about the Bears? Well, what he said is true. How can it be a rivalry if we right. just, every time we roll up, we smacking you? We is yes. no longer we. I'm going to always it's be. they. I am going to always be a we. Uh, you are always going to be a we at Vandy or Oklahoma. No, but no I, matter I didn't what. go anywhere no, else. Doesn't I, matter, though. Okay. Doesn't matter. I'm going to always be a we when it comes to teams that I play for when you're having a conversation with them or about them. I understand what Aaron Rodgers is saying. They own Green Bay. You remember he did the whole little uh, belt thing and, let, and yeah. letting them know yeah. that, mm -hmm. that I own Chicago? Yeah. And that's all he's saying. Mm. I don't think you, you, <laughs> and I'm laughing because you're like, dissecting it, breaking it all the way down to the point where he's saying this on that show so that it can get in the hands of the Chicago Bears to go and try to mm -hmm. annihilate yeah. Jordan Love, to embarrass Jordan Love, just trying so, to that shame Aaron, them. so Aaron Rodgers looks like the hero or something. Okay. That's yeah, so far. Yeah. I mean, that's so far, Fred Skip. No, Come on it's, now. It's I understand. On. I understand Aaron Rodgers has got some things that he needs to work out with a lot of different people oh, does he? In, in terms of his personality and the way he approaches things. I don't think that this has anything to do with trying to fire up the Chicago people to go in the Lambeau and win the damn game. Mm. That's a reach, Skip. Mm. You don't That's think he'd love it if well, I want to reach failed? with him. I want to reach with him. Mm. I just want to put my hand in the reach. Because I just okay. said, that my note says, and I, I, I thought about the song. Come on, man. The song that says, pour some honey on me. <laughs> pour some honey on me. Right? Yeah. And, and what he said is, pour some honey on Jordan Love so them bears can get him. <laughs> that's what he, yeah, that's, that's funny. That's, that's what a I'm good saying. one. I love so, that analogy. Why would he want Alan, Jordan Love no, oh, to fail? On. Let me tell you. Why? Why, why, no, no, let me why tell, I, I'm he? not saying. Why? Not ultimately fail. Not ultimately fail. But I, when I hurt, when I broke my neck in Philadelphia, and the Cowboys went on a little bit of a bumpy road, bumpy road. Mm. I was hurting because my boys were losing, but I, but. I, but I felt like, hey, you know, I want to be missed. Mm. I want to be missed. Yeah, Everybody yeah, wants affirmation and comfort. Great Everybody point. wants to be missed. Great Let's point. stop playing. This don't mean you're a bad person because you want to be missed. See, you're bringing yesterday's things and all other stuff we heard on the field. I'm just talking about everybody wants to be Michael, missed. Michael, I understand Everybody, that. nothing wrong it. with that. Everybody always say, I want my team to win. Just I want them to miss me. If somehow you can do them both, I want you to do that. But I want to be missed. Right now, Aaron Rodgers, you don't think they want, he, he, he's, he's saying, I'm we. He's saying, we, I'm with y'all. But he wants to be missed. Yeah. And it's be nice. It'll be hell. nice. It'll be nice if right here, because at the same exact spot right here, Aaron Rodgers didn't get you over that hump. No. Nope. And then it, it, it'd be nice if the, the the honey he poured on Jordan Love, Jordan Love can't get you over this hump. Then then everybody's happy. Jordan, then Aaron Rodgers go root for the Jordan Love big, is right, right. essentially a rookie. Right, right, right. I know. And if he picks up where Aaron Rodgers left off, but this time get you in the playoff where Aaron Rodgers did not. Aaron Rodgers, you think he's all that he's so happy for? That? He just want to be missed. He want to be missed. That's all I'm he saying. So I believe be, he did say he this to the corral up the be, Bears. He can still be missed, Skip and Michael. In, in, in pool for Jordan Love to have success and the yeah. Packers to have success, 
He can still do that. Mm. Yeah, but, but not miss the same way. They're going to say, look how much better we are than Aaron Rodgers gone. And first year, Jordan Love started, we in the playoffs. Aaron Rodgers couldn't even get us in the playoffs the last year. Key, they, these are human things. I, I mean, I, I look at things from, a, from, from, a, from that champion's perspective. But the reality is all champions are human. And all yes, humans I have these tools on I, them. I, I look at certain teams that I played on and say, well, they, ain't gonna, they still trying to replace me. I, I get all of that. Right. There's no question right. about it. But I'm not going to say, I'm not going to sit there and say, well, I hope that they just fall by the wayside and oh, somebody going to get Fall by the wayside. I'm just pouring a little honey on love. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm just telling the bears, go eat. That's all. Go eat. That's it. Go eat. Go yeah, eat. Be crazy. <laughs> Skip said, just saying. I, I thought that was Skip true. Skip sitting Actually, here saying I it was that true. this dude set up. And orchestrated this whole interview. That was the first thing I thought about. I swear to you, that's the first thing I thought about. He's a master about. media why, manipulator. Why, 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 why is it that? Why, why is it that every time? Why is it that every time? Hall of Fame, legendary type players that's still playing, who deals with the media a certain way, mm -hmm. always got to be considered uh, shrewd. Mm -hmm. LeBron James, oh, he's a shrewd operator. He's this way. Now all of a sudden. Aaron Rodgers is that way. Don't do Aaron Rodgers. He's just doing this for attention. Why hey, is that, Skip? Can you Keyshawn. tell me that as a writer? Keyshawn. Why do y'all feel that way? Aaron has shown himself again and again to be a bad guy, just to be a diva, a finger-pointing, blame-deflecting diva. It's happened again and again and again. And in his last few playoff appearances for this team, he stunk. And he stunk in what was a playoff for the playoff games last that's, year that's, that's all at I'm home. Talking about. That, that's, that's what all he's I'm talking about. about. And all of a that's, sudden, that's what I'm talking about. he lives on social media. He has seen all the stat comparisons of him and Jordan in your first year of starting. Jordan's yeah. numbers are right there with Aaron's in the first year of starting. I don't, I don't know why you don't think Aaron yeah. would look at this. Hey, all, all players do. I'm not saying that he's and not, not right. looking at it. He doesn't recognize it. And, I don't and think I'm not that saying the he's man, a bad person. I, I, I don't think that the man is sitting down every day worrying about what Jordan Love is doing in Green Bay. He had 20 no, years in Green right, Bay. Hey, right. he, he shot, won yeah, in Green shot, Bay. He got no, four no, MVPs in Green no, Bay. No, nobody is missing Aaron Rodgers I'm, in I'm Green Bay. Right? I, I don't think that they are. They, yeah. The team has moved on. It's a totally different right. team and, than and, it was a year and ago. And by the way, Jordan Love for the last five games is 16 touchdowns to one interception. He's been no, on he's incredible. He's playing he incredible. very he's well. Yes. He's playing very well. Yeah. I just, when I see someone say that a dude is sitting up here orchestrating this type of uh, message hey, to yeah. the Chicago Bears, okay. it's just crazy to me. Brett Favre was pretty good at this stuff, too. See, there we go again. Another. Brett Favre was pretty good at it, too. But Brett, you gotta and, and, and Aaron, he lived through Brett Favre throwing little zingers when he left. Yep. So now Aaron just... If you told so, me... So I'm just saying. If you told I'm not me... Saying, if Aaron, I, all if Aaron I'm saying Rogers is, said... Dude, all, if all Aaron Rodgers said, we, if, if Aaron I Rogers, want to be missed. You want to be missed. This is not Sam. This I, is not I, something not that's saying, saying you're not a tough big I, man. I, Everybody wants to be missed. There's no, nothing no, wrong with that. We all look for affirmation Michael, and confirmation. Nobody that's said, the bottom line. Nobody said, Human Skip and Michael, that Aaron Rodgers doesn't want to be missed. No one said that. But Skip is saying that Aaron Rodgers set up for a couple of days. It orchestrated this no, along with exactly him, what he's doing. and he knows he's exactly shot. what he's doing so that he can fire up the Chicago he's people Sean to go beat the Packers. Uh, he's Sean, have you been watching <laughs> the Bears lately? Have you watched yeah, the Bears watched the last four weeks? Bears could be nice. dangerous now. Oh, yeah. wait, wait a second. second. But, that's not, the that but that's not the conversation. The but conversation is, feels good. You, if you would have said to me, Skip, are the Bears dangerous yes. going into Green Bay? I say absolutely. Right. They that's why I always said, but Bell. that's why I always okay. said from day one, Justin Fields ain't going nowhere. Okay, you kill me, Keith. Okay. Oh, but you, you, you can see the Bears being dangerous as a division opponent going into Green Bay, but you can't see nothing when it comes to Washington. Right. I mean, you you talk about his. You, know, you, you are blind too, Key. You get you killing me with that. And you come back Michael, to these other teams. You just you're said bringing it. up Washington. Washington is a team that's going yeah. nowhere. They Chicago talking. going where? But Chicago showing you something. Washington yeah. ain't showing you nothing right now. What are you talking about? They just switched the quarterback again. They fired the defensive coordinator. The head coach is on the hot seat. And all those problems went what on in Chicago. About? But you are you okay to, to satisfy you to make you happy, I'm Michael? Saying, I'm, I'm to not... make you happy and skip happy, <laughs> it's gonna be a tough game. Washington is gonna come to play, and the Cowboys are gonna win the game. No, no. Now, will that make you happy? 
No, I'm, I'm not. Because I wasn't I'm, even talking about the Cowboys. I'm talking about Chicago. Right. I'm just, and I'm talking about perspective. You see <laughs> how that poor team can be a tra- challenge for this team because it's division. Just no, that's not what I said. Chicago, I said because the quarterback, like Cleveland because and Baltimore, the quarterback is playing ridiculous football. Not necessarily quarterback football, but playing like a football player using his legs and at times his arm with DJ Moore. I ain't said nothing about no division. You want it to be about a division because you want to talk about them damn Cowboys no, no, no. in their Washington game. No, mm. no, I'm just I'm, I'm making sure that you hold true to the, your pattern of thought. Not just All changing. divisional games are tough, period. Okay, I'm just we know sure. that is the case. Sure you hold true to your pattern of thought. Because it changes when it's It does start. not change. You want it to change. Okay, so Keyshawn. Yes, sir. This is literally poking the bear as in the Chicago Bears mm-hmm. who have suddenly found themselves. And think about this. <laughs> if Aaron Rodgers were still the quarterback of the Green Bay Packers, do you think he'd this be laughing at the Bears right now saying, we beat them, what, nine in a row? This isn't a rivalry. There's no way he'd be saying about. that right, right. now. Are you because crazy he wouldn't right now, Skip? Bear. He no, set no, up no, and no. told the people in Chicago that was on your during, ass. during the game. He said it before yeah. as well. No. Of course he would. He That's wouldn't say no, we beat No, I, I promise you he, he would. He wouldn't say this is no rivalry. I, I bet you he, he would. would I bet you he because would. Because he would know. And even, if he, and even if he didn't, he ain't playing there. So it does not matter to what he says because he's not playing for him. He's not there playing for them. He's part of the legacy of the Green Bay okay. Packers. Yeah, okay. He's not actually on the field for right. them this year. So, Skip. so you think he's helping? But he said Skip is saying loves. if he was still playing right. for the Packers, but he, he wouldn't but, say this. But he, Michael, he wouldn't put them down like this. He in just the put them down when he said, "I own you. I own no, them," and, no, they, and they had to play them again. What right. are you talking about? Right. But the, he said that in the heat of the game, and we caught that in it the was, end zone. I own you, and now he has the answer to it. It's different <laughs> in a in a sit down moment when you're talking to media when you're more calculating and not emotionally riled up and in that state, then you, he would not he have said, said I own you, you because people was chirping at him, in, okay, in as game. well as players and fans were chirping in at him. Game. So he decided to let you know that he I own your ass, right. okay? Right. And they had to play him again. Mm. Even, if he, even if he said nothing to players and he only said it to the fans and you saw it on TV and you a player and you saw that, what would you say? Oh, he thinks he own us. He thinks he own us. Mm. So that's the same message. What are you talking no, no, about? You, you don't carry motivation. You don't carry motivation from an offseason to another game. We try to reroute it up. If you said something on a Wednesday and I'm playing you on a Sunday, that's not carrying mo- that, 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 I, I can I can carry motivation from Wednesday to, Wednesday to Sunday. He's motivation is outside TV. forces that move you. Inspiration is the inside force that moves you. He's you ain't going to carry something outside TV. for eight months. He, he, a he's on national TV right, it's a telling you that he owns the team, and then they got to play him again several weeks later. And you don't think that that was brought up? Mm. You're going to tell me it wasn't brought up. Kid, kid, I- Keyshawn, the point is he shamed and dismissed the Chicago Bears who are suddenly hot and and he doesn't have to back it up on Sunday night. Jordan Love does. That's fine, but what you're trying to say, though, Skip, is that he intentionally did this I believe to he sabotage he, he Jordan a, Love's ability to beat the Chicago yes, Bears. Does. I can't believe you can't see that. I can't no, either. I can't. I can't, I can't either. I mean, no, I can't. You, I, I can't. Fool, I really can't. I guess. Yes, no, I guess no, I'm and, just and, and I'm not. I, I, I don't know anything. But, uh, but I'm saying I can't see. I, Aaron's an ultimate competitor, and why would I, why would you not want to win at all things if you're an ultimate competitor? How I want to win I, at marbles. But how is that so, winning so, so, by telling you know, the Chicago Bears we own y'all? How is that winning? Well, well it's I got not. Nine, it's not a rivalry. Right, right, right. I'm but, nine but, and zero in the last nine games mm, against you, mm, mm, and yeah, I'm part of yeah. the Green Bay. Legacy, the, the Hall of Fame, whatever. In great, I'm, I'm him. So it does not. It does nothing for. It does nothing against Aaron Rodgers' legacy if Jordan Love gets this team in the playoffs this year and have a little success. It, will, it, will. it doesn't it do anything against Aaron Rodgers. No, it Aaron Rodgers couldn't do it last year, but no, Jordan Love comes man, in stop. and do it this It's a different team, a okay, different year. I got you. Thanks for watching, undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.